Hi everyone, the Mature Simmer here. So I am back. We're heading out of Chihuahua here. A lot of places to go, sadly nothing really exactly where I'd like to go, but because I've discovered a good amount in this area, um, I think that'll work. The next other options that head down here take us all the way down to Fresnillo and things like that. Um, there was a really long job that could get me down to one of the, to San Blas here. I'm just worried because uh, it was an urgent job and, and we're dealing with a lot of things that it might not work, but my concern is when I go here I may have few options on the other end, but I still think it makes the most sense at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and try to take this job. Hopefully in six hours and 28 minutes I can get to wherever this is on the other side of Chihuahua. All right, so I had gone ahead since the last episode and rested before I started up here because then I needed to pick jobs after that. Um, so that is why I'm suddenly in the middle of this gas station. I think I'm going to have to go to the left. Well, I can't go to the left. All right. That's going to make life a little bit interesting, but all right, I can go to the right and then turn around according to this. So I will do that. Oh, like literally just right here, huh? Okay. Well, I'll, I'll do that, I guess. I hope. You told me to make a U-turn. I saw. I don't understand. <laughs> oh, the GPS. I love it on this, this spot, but I get it's probably complicated and things like that, so... Whoops. Do I really want to do that? No, I don't. Not for a long time. So, let me look at th this. Yeah, alright. I'm going to have to do that then but not until I go underneath, so I do keep right, but it's all a relative thing here. We've got the police there, so need to be careful. So, yeah, the other job would have been about seven, almost 800 miles, and we know how that goes through Mexico. So I'm trying to keep it shorter, but I'm beginning to wonder if I'm going to have any options as things get later and later. So I can't exit here, even though it tells me I can, because I can't. <laughs> well, or can I? Now hold on. I think that's literally just going to take me up and down. I hope I'm wrong. Oh boy, maybe I'm... Oh, well, did this work better? Oh, okay, it did, because this way it's not taking me through the city. It's a bit of a complicated location, I'll tell you that. So... We'll get through here, because again, we have a little bit of time. I was a little worried about starting in the dark, but given how far we've got to go to pick this up, I'm thinking it'll work out just fine. So, definitely pretty big city here, Chihuahua is, but that also adds for a lot of complexity in the road network. All right. And then exit right. Now. All right. See, it just, to me, it looks like I can do it later. Like, that I don't need to do it right now. I don't know. I better I better get off, I guess, and cuz otherwise like if there's some overpass that I'm missing and then I can't do something, 
But to me, I think this is just going to take longer because, see, it's literally going to have me, like, join right back. Well, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to look. All right. And, you know, there may be a route here where I, like, don't... Oh, I see, because I could get back on, but I'm not. But I swear this is... this looks like it's putting me right back on. Okay, so we couldn't exit here. So maybe this was the right thing to do. Like I said, complicated road network. I will... I will say that, because, yeah, um... There is no way to exit here. Glad I did what I did. Wow. Because, yeah, I thought for sure, like, oh, yeah, once we get up here. But no, now it's going down, and that's doing its own thing, and I would have missed. Or I would have had to jump the curb, which I would have done. But <laughs> let's be honest. All right. So, no, I'm not turning right yet. So, again, that's a bit of complication. It's through the intersection. I'm sure, as soon as this one turns green, you know what will happen. There we go. Now the other one's turning red. So I'm just literally going to creep across this intersection. And this is yet another reason why, if I can avoid it, I'd really like to not take an 800-mile job here in Mexico because there's just nothing it's a quick job here. They're all challenging because of the complexity of the road networks and, and therefore all the waiting you're doing at lights. And s oh good, someone literally hit the police officer. Probably not the best thing to be doing at 4.15 a.m. Yeah, 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 um, that's all good for you guys, but that was funny. Just sitting there. So now I've I was near an accident last episode, too, I think, and now we've got another one that happened right next to us, so. All right, and then we're going to go to the left here to FedEx, and this is where it should be. Or wait, right? Oh, no, we're just going through. Never mind. So I guess there's a little bit of fumbling around here because of the one turn I had missed earlier. Turn left. All right. It's pretty quiet. All right. Get ready to turn left. I don't think that's for a while, because I think, yeah, right now we go through turn left. all of this stuff. I don't think I turn left here. I think it's lying to me. Okay, it's not. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. All right. Well, let's see what's going on, because this looks like a pretty busy road. Oh, wow. It's pretty quiet. That's great. I like that. I don't think the traffic adjusts for time of day, but maybe in this case it did. You know, 4.20 a.m. on a Friday... Everybody's still not yet right. up for work. Because, yes, here I think it's right, because we're going to the Tesla. Now I remember. Right. Now the thing, again, I don't remember is can I... Can I turn on red? I don't know that I've ever known that. I guess we're going to find out. All right, so same rules as the U.S., which would make sense, especially in ATS. That would be hard for them to implement. Keep left and then turn left. Okay, it's just giving me a precaution for the railway here, but just telling me pay attention because you might have to stop. Um, oh, that was a little... Eh. Interesting, so Tesla's like behind the gate here. Turn left. See, I don't... Do I? Oh, there's another Tesla over there. So this is like a Tesla complex or something. 
Interesting. I guess I better look since there's no uh, no gates. Don't know if you can get smeared in Truck Simulator, but I don't know that I want to find out. All right, well, there's a pickup point there, or a dispatch point, I guess is what I call them, where I get directions from the dispatcher of your load is here. All right, there we go. Scrapped cars. Gonna take that job. And it looks like it's around the, I'll say the back of the building, because I'm kind of, I'm say, assuming I'm entering here at the front, but who knows. But do I go around, or do I have to pull in? Okay, I have to pull in here, so. So confusing, because, like, that block makes it look like there's a road there, like I can go do something, but clearly not easily. This is a really tight way in here, I'll tell you that. Hmm. I'm not sure I like this at all. This is a interesting setup. Alright, so that road is actually something totally different, even though on the map it looked like it was just getting around this building but it's not. All right. So it probably took me 10 minutes to come get this job. <laughs> so yet again, another reason, because I think the, uh, the job down would have been ex from Tesla as well um, to Sunblast. So okay. we would have been at a two hour episode or something for that. So would have been a little crazy. All right. So, we'll see what, how this long this takes. I've given up in Mexico trying to, like, say, this is what it'll be, because this is what it's telling me. I mean, I'll tell you, it's telling me it's going to take an hour and one minute, but I can't imagine that that's what we're really looking at here. All right, so we're going out the same way, and then we're just heading out of Chihuahua. So I'm probably still going to need to peek at the map as always a few times but we'll see but right now we just need to get out of here and that I kind of know how to do <laughs> it's certainly not a super straightforward way to get th out of this location it's a, like I said the Tesla complex or something so I'm assuming it's just a normally automotive complex again well Mm. Right. All right, that was a little too far. If something was coming, I think, oh boy, it doesn't help now that I have a load. It's definitely taken some effort to to get out of here. I'm not sure what my swing on this is. It's not too bad since it's a dual, and it looks like the wheels turn on it like to get through to that light, but I don't know that I will. All right, I'm glad that gate went up. I was worried I was going to have to stop again. All right. Why are they creeping forward? They're at a red light. Don't do things like that. <laughs> right. and then turn right. All right. I like how it's Ciudad Juarez and then Mexico, as if, like, Ciudad Juarez isn't in Mexico. <laughs> Like, here's Mexico. All of Mexico's over here. The rest of that stuff up there, we don't really refer to it as Mexico. It's just kind of funny. I don't know. I don't understand why that sign is that way. All right, 11,000 from Sabrina. I probably should do something in one of these episodes with all this money that my drivers are earning and I'm earning and so forth, because I could certainly expand and start... You know, at this point, at this point, I could probably buy two garages and fill them with trucks. You know, get expand the fleet by like six. But uh, not sure. 
Alright, and I know it was here, it wasn't down that side road. So, and then, again, I think we're still just headed out of the city here. We're not yet on the road down. Because for a good portion of this, we should be just kind of moving down the highway. And then at the end, just before we get to San Maria del Oro, I think that's it. It's kind of overlapping Chihuahua here in my sim dashboard. So but I think everything was San something down there. But then my hope is kind of once I'm down in that area, that I have more options to do deliveries through the mountain area down there because I'm assuming that's what we've got once again. And then we can do a little exploring of the map in that area and see what we find. So I figured I'd take the time at the light to finish my breakfast. So I'm back to babbling along. You might have been happy just to not hear me talking. I don't know. So, all right. So we basically go near the repair place and then turn right. It's not going to mean anything when I get there. You know how that'll be. It'll just be like, yeah, that's what we're where we're going. But... I don't think it's going to be quite as obvious as one would think, although on the map we can see the repair. Alright, so it is there, and we're going to turn right at that location there. Oh, good. So, I got caught for some th speeding, not something it, it clearly told me what it was for. But, um, I, I seem to be going with traffic. I wasn't honestly paying attention, so shame on me. Is there, like, another accident and nobody's moving? No, I guess they're just not moving because they're weird. All right, I'm through into the intersection, so at least I won't get a ticket for running a red light. But now I think we're kind of on the road to take us out. Maybe not. No, not yet. Wow. All right. <laughs> Interesting. All right, so we're going to have to go left up here, so I'll stay over on that side, especially since we've got all these cars. The amount of cars that are just blocking the road here is amazing to me. So I think where the yellow road goes left, I'm going left. So it's at this light. Hopefully we hit it while it is still green. What? What? Where was the red light that is a left turn light? Okay, I obviously missed something entirely. All right. So now... Wondering if we have another train thing coming up. I don't know what the caution meant. All right, so at this point, it seems we're just following where we've been before. And I'm sure we do that down to the next, that major city before we head off to the right at some point. And we go from there. So right now, it's telling me I'm going to need to rest before we deliver, which would be a problem because I am supposed to deliver 
before, right about the time I'm my rest window closes. So I'm imagining just like the normal thing. Now that we're moving, the time's going to tick down very quickly on time to deliver, and suddenly we'll find ourselves on the right side of that equation. I hope. So, because right now we're six hours apart. And that needs to change. So, 5600 from Brandon L. Alright. Just getting a quick drink there. Just kind of feeling my voice getting to the point where I was going to have to keep clearing my throat and whatever, so I'd either have to keep muting or I'd forget to edit things out maybe and it would be unpleasant. Obviously trying to avoid that. So, didn't take us as long to pick up. I, I guess I was expecting the sun to be rising by now by 5.30. It kind of is. We can start to see terrain out in the distance and so forth, but this is certainly less uh, less than I would like. Now, I will tell you, this is... I don't know. Like, we're keeping up with traffic, but in theory, according to the speed that it's displaying on the screen, I think in all cases I'm going way, way, way faster. But yet, traffic is also passing me, so I don't know. So I'm just kind of driving with traffic at this point. So some big facility out there to the right. We obviously have been down here at some point, but I'm sure this was in my early episodes where I was driving the three or four thousand mile routes and was taking forever to get them done just to move things up quickly. But I can't believe, like it's telling me we're only at 59 miles. I swear this was like a 300 mile haul, so this does not bode well. Alright. Alright, so this is Delicias. We've obviously exited here and passed through here. So I've been by here a couple times. I'm going to move over here because there's just too much going on on the right side. It's getting me, getting me nervous and I think I've got a ways to go yet. Hoping some of these folks will leave. <laughs> I don't want you here. Just go away. But there's a lot going on, I'll tell you that. Nope, nobody's leaving. Interesting. Because we went from no traffic uh, when we were going to, I think, pick up the load still to suddenly we're buried in traffic like two hours later. It's crazy. Alright, well, I'm still over four hours difference. But, yeah, I'm beginning to think I was brilliant for not taking that really long job. Because I think that would have been a really, really, really long episode. My hope is still that I can get a job to that other location from here, and that way it becomes two episodes instead of one. Nice little roadster there. Alright. Well, past 6 a.m. Still no daylight. Sun doesn't like it down here in Mexico, which is kind of strange given that Everybody wants to vacation down here because, you know, it's warm and this and that, but I'm sure it is, but and I'm sure it's sunny when it is sunny, but the way it's designed here, it's not very sunny. All right, 
So I just keep going through Camargo, through Paral. See, so that's the thing. I think it's Paral, and then I head off because. Hmm. Well, we'll worry about it, I guess. But we've got a ways to wiggle around, that's for sure. But it just looks like I kind of go down paths that I've gone down before. And it seems like I'm going along at a pretty good clip, but... Not quite sure if I am or not. Well, he's got like one cow in the back there. I just realized what what he had as we were going by. So I guess if you want to see it, you'll have to rewind the video 30 seconds at this point and go look. He's not moving or anything. He's just he's just sitting there. Do I really? Oh, yeah, I guess I do. So, I better get over there. Oh yeah, this doesn't go straight anyway. I guess I'm glad I decided I was turning right, otherwise I would have just barreled into all those people. <laughs> there we go again. Mexico is this way. Everything else? A few other cities the other way that I guess aren't part of Mexico. Funny stuff. Funny stuff. Just, you don't see a whole lot of signs around that say, United States, you know, and point over in this direction, and then Dallas here, although I think people down there might like that. Like, yep, we're not part of the United States, we're Texas, we're our own country. But, uh, so, that was probably a bad example to pick, but I don't know, Des Moines, let's say, Des Moines, and then the other way is United States. You just don't see those kind of signs. So it just makes me giggle when I'm sitting down here and I'm in Mexico and I see signs that, hey, there's these cities this way and this way is Mexico. <laughs> so. Because they obviously picked cities. I'm just like having dialogue in my head, hence the halt, but you know they're they're picking cities to put on those signs like over there I, they could just have picked two cities this way just like they did the other way but instead they choose mexico so there we go all in ganche i don't know don't know what that means Sounds like it's something important, but I don't know. All right. So we are about three hours separated. So I guess we've cut half the time off. And, you know, we've got 10, almost 11 hours in game time, it's telling me, before we're going to deliver or before a delivery window closes, I should say. The two deliver is the one that's still three hours over that, so. And again, it's like once we speed it up and we're moving like we are now, it tends to kind of creep down, where it's like literally almost every second, maybe even a little faster than once a second, I'm losing a minute on, on what's there. But part of that is because it's also, like, claiming that I'm covering a kilometer every second, which seems really strange as well. And yes, my SIM dashboard is reporting to me in kilometers. It's a problem I've been having since I changed tablets. And I have re-downloaded the dashboard, like, when I fire it up. Like, it's showing me dollars down below, but for some reason the other things are kilograms and in kilometers even though obviously my instrument on the truck is miles per hour and so forth so I don't know you know and even my um, 
even my dashboard. Oops. All right. Yeah. Let me go through here because I don't want to get stuck at the gate. Although there are trucks there, so maybe this one would work. But last episode, I had a bad experience at a toll booth and had to actually go back to an auto save to proceed because I had been stuck at a gate and. The load I was hauling was similar to this. It was two cement uh, units, and I could not back up. Plus, there would have been cars behind me anyway. I wouldn't have been able to back up anyway without just shoving everybody out of the way. But All right, but that's just heading. That's like just the highway-ish type thing, so I'm just taking the exit. So yeah, we're going to par Paral, H de Paral. Okay, I guess I can turn that off. It's probably not terribly fun listening to that click along. And then in Paral, or Paral, Paral, gotta roll my R's. Um, we're going to turn left at some point there, so... Alright, within an hour and a half now, so I think we're going to be okay. And we've barely gone down an hour otherwise in game time, so... Still don't know when we'll deliver, but maybe it'll be... It should be faster, because there's no reason it should start counting down any slower. Like, now the time is falling, but not with kilometers clicking away quite as fast, so. You know, it's still telling me 33 minutes in real time. Again, when we started, it was an hour and one minute. I don't think it's been half an hour. In fact, now looking at the time, I know it's not been. It's been 20 minutes, so it's been close. Um, so it's not like it's that far off, but, you know, maybe this will be a 40-minute run instead of a hour in one minute run or something. But once again, versus taking the longer route to San Blas, which will take me through the mountains. The other problem was, I think what I, well no, I was hauling something pretty light, because I think I would have just been taking butter. But um, I was just worried that it was again an urgent delivery, and I'm like, it's going to be another one like the wheel loader where I get there and don't get paid and don't get any experience for this long haul because I was late. Alright. So, around the terrain. Whoop. They surprised me sitting there. I don't know if they're always there or that's just a random event. That is a really defined mound there. It just seems strangely tall compared to its width. Like, the one next to it seems like a more normal hill. Oh, Ahmed, what are you doing? Couldn't find a job. What's it going to cost? Fuel and maintenance. $1,300. Not terrible at the rate I'm at here. Now, if it's my European series where... I'm doing real economy. We would be having ourselves a chat. Ahmed and I would be, that's for sure. All right. Um, I, I think I need to go around to like, uh, maybe not. I'm, I was like, oh, I'm going to go this way. And then, uh, let me see. I can't tell who's going where. Because I'm like, those trucks might not be going through around the way I'm going, but let's see. Let me make sure I know where I'm going. Am I going out? No, I'm not going out. So I'm going... I could go out, but we'll see. Everybody's turning, so I can follow where it tells me now. That's what I was thinking was going to happen, is they'd peel off, and instead of waiting in that huge long line... So... Very nice, colorful place. Ooh, nice hill. Maybe that's that little hill I saw connected to the really big round hill I saw. Whoa, look at those. 
cowboys and something and and big big bull or something all right and then we go here so wait a minute this is where you told me to oh okay let's see can i fix it can i f i can i'm gonna fix it now Probably gonna hit someone and cause problems. Oh wow, I was further off the road than I thought. I really shouldn't have done that. But I knew we had to go somewhere, but the, the roundabouts were getting me all confused. All right. So yeah, I could see why this is a problem because there's because I was surprised. Like, wait, I've been here. Like, I thought I was going down a road to this little town. So yeah, the concern I'm going to have is this could be like any of these little towns that have like one or two businesses and then I'm just going to have very few job options and I'm just going to get sent right back where I was. So in that case, we may have another episode where I just drive somewhere because I want to get to a part of the map I've not been to and loads aren't helping me do that. I mean, in theory, what this is telling me right now is I still have, like, well over a hundred miles, I think, to, to go on these roads, which doesn't seem right, because I think I'm kind of within spitting distance here. Yeah, we're not going that far, but, but, you know, getting to the coast, as you can see, like, there's some interesting terrain, I think, so I think we have some mountains. But at this point, like, I can go through all this space, which is kind of what I wanted to be doing, and you can see they're all pretty well connected. Let's worry about that when it's time to worry about that. Right now, we just need to get where we're going. Gracias por toy aripo, I think is what it said. I could be reading it wrong. probably am reading it wrong, let's be honest. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, a little bit of hill country here. I mean, this certainly is not anything different than, you know, some of the deserts out in New Mexico and Arizona, where you're not, like, necessarily always going through big mountains or anything like that, so certainly reasonable. Yeah, I was going to say I'm going faster than what I had my GPS set at. Which might be okay. Alright, well now I'm at least two hours in the right direction of delivery. It's two hours shorter than the time I have to deliver it, so this works better. Matamoros, whoa! Go straight on. Oh, I guess I was supposed to slow down. At this point I'm just going to get through here. So, I've heard of this this place, but I didn't know where it ever was. So, it's pretty far down here in Mexico. This is not... Okay, I only have to stop the other way. Leaving, they don't care. They don't want to check your paperwork this way. Just coming in. They want to be like, why are you crazy enough to be coming in here? I don't know. Or maybe, why are you coming in from here and we want to check you? Because I'm thinking... This we're finally leaving the state of Chihuahua. Termina Chihuahua Inicia Durango. So I'm assuming end and start of those because that green line I think is like the state divisions on the map. So I think we're passing that part. And we're getting closer. I'll say that. How about that? I was going to say we're getting close, but somehow I feel that's not accurate. So we're going to go with closer, because that I know is accurate. We're rolling forward. No matter what, every second gets us closer. All right. 
So now we're out of any double, you know, our four lane road, I guess. Looks like a bridge there. Kind of iron trestle type thing. And I came across this really inexpensive thing called Poly Bridge. There's a Poly Bridge too. They had some super cheap bundle where I think I paid like four dollars for both of them or something. And it's basically a physics bridge building thing. You like have these challenges. It's a puzzle-ish type game where you try to figure out how to bridge something. We only have X amount of money that you're supposed to do it in and only certain parts and components available. It's pretty challenging building those bridges to not have them collapse under a truck or something, so get a little bit of a different appreciation for that. I would not call that a sim in any way. That one is, pro is never going to make the channel. Um, it, there's not a whole lot of excitement to show there. and It's just not what I do specifically, so it was definitely one of those that, like, eh, if I want to poke around with something, I just have a few minutes and I want a little bit of a challenge that I need to think through. I thought it might work, and for a few dollars, I figured it was worth it. It was, I think, cheaper than the cost of renting a movie, so like, even if I get two hours of entertainment out of it, it'll it'll be money well spent. Alright. Well, we are getting much closer by any denomination. Pablano Praximo. I know I know Pablanos are peppers. It almost makes it sound like peppers are near. Peppers in proximity. I don't know. That can't be what it's saying. Oh, this is one of these where sometimes down here in Mexico. I'll find a new wait, 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 wait. Is it just because I can't? Yeah, I think it's because I crossed the center line. But yeah, they, they like don't fit in the lane properly down here. I don't know why. Well, I mean, it's obviously got something to do with how they created the map, but it's like if you want to pass people per the second lane, that's what you need to do. It's a very odd, very, very straight line of windmills. That seems like it wouldn't be real, but they created it for some reason, so I'm guessing it must be. Alright, so turn to the right. Is this a church? No, it's just traditional festival? Oh, it's like a festival ground or something. Interesting. Maybe that's like county fair county fairgrounds that we have in the U.S. or something. Maybe that's the equivalent. Alright, Santa Maria del Oro. That is exactly where we're going. There's a Rite Aid under that canopy, I guess, is what that sign is telling me at least. Again, I don't know if I believe them. It just seems odd. So, a little bit of a incline here, given that we're just in some rolling hills, but we did kind of go from flat to something not so flat pretty fast, so... So this is good. This will be another area, hopefully, that we get to spend some time exploring over the next few episodes with deliveries here in the space, but we'll see what happens. I'm just hoping that I do have options. See our delivery point. It's telling me an hour in game time, so obviously this is a bit of a challenge on the roads here, but again, it also counts down super, super fast, so we'll see. I mean, either way, we're climbing, and I'm only... Whoa! We're only able to go 30... Oh, I still hit him. I thought I had swung out enough. Shoot. I guess I ended up turning back in too fast. I think I caught him with the second trailer. I think the first trailer did just fine, but... 
So we've got two, well, three, because it looks like we have a Centax, the Air, Air Vaz or whatever, Cascadian Farms. There might be things we can't see yet. No, I think that's it. So we've got three different businesses here. Not one or two, as I was worried. <laughs> so much better. But it is a 50% of... Whoa! Did weird things with my force feedback even on that one. Like, I don't know, it was like the truck was sliding, I couldn't... I had my foot on the brake, but it... Okay, come on. I, I was across the line there. I mean, yeah, these are really tight. Oh my goodness. These are tight turns, and just not a lot of room. Hmm. I gotta, hopefully I'll get a reasonable load when I come back. Is this just dirt roads here? That's pretty awesome. It's kind of exactly what I... No, they're not dirt roads. It's just a different, different kind of concrete, but it's still pretty awesome. Alright, is it here? Um, I am so lost. I think it's there. By the in and out Burger, which I'm sure they have here. Um, <laughs> obviously that's, again, the real company's mod. Just replacing something that was there with something else. Alright, I am so confused. Because I can't really... Oh boy, what do I do here? Like, the doors are closed. Because I was going to say, I can't... Like, back into anything. So what does this thing think I'm doing? It's almost like it's going to have me go in one of those bays, but... Alright, now I'm running over that. Alright, well, I'm going to go this way, because... Otherwise, I don't think I can do anything. Uh, I'm going to assume I'm an authorized vehicle. That's what it says. Authorized vehicles only. Alright, this is just really... I mean, the only thing I can think of is the doors on the other side are open. Yeah, because, like, it's not showing me anywhere to put this. The doors here are open. But how the hell do I get out, then? Alright, well, I see a spot. Am I supposed to... Is this the long end? It is. Alright. Do I just have to do weird gymnastics to get out of here later? I mean, the door is closed, and I've never known ATS to suddenly open it for you. So, um, alright, let me get back in the truck. But, this is where I th think it wants me. Whoop. Alright. So weird. Alright. It's telling me back there, with just one of the trailers. Because, yeah, I don't want to go too far and then not work, but this is it. All right, well, we got excellent and 658 XP, which is, again, just a fraction of what I need to keep going. But, you know, it is what I've, what I've got, so we have made it. Don't know what this is going to turn into after this, but that's part of the fun and joy. So I hope you'll join me, and I'll see you next time.